Howdy guys and welcome to Plumbing with Tim. All right, today I'm gonna to share with you a very short video that was inspired by one of my customers today, uh, Mr. C. I'm sorry you missed uh, me being at your house, uh, but I'm here to show you a little trick that nobody was able to show you. And hopefully the rest of you guys that have never seen this, uh, pick it up and maybe it'll save you on the cost of a service call. So let's check it out. So I get the call today to go to someone's house. They say, I've got an older style Briggs toilet. It's one of the larger tanks that are in there and stuff. And the gentleman had gone ahead and he tried to replace the fill valve, the fluid master in there. And he just wasn't getting enough water into the tank. And so he called us and wanted us to bring the right size fill valve uh, for this older style toilet. So I just went up there to see what it was that was going on and I discovered what was uh, not taught to the customer. And that's why I'm sharing this little video with you so it'll save you down the road. Fluid master fill valve. Everybody has seen these little apparatuses. They're in most modern day toilets. There are some variations depending on the style of toilet you have, but this is the number one worldwide seller of fill valves in most toilets these days. Now, when the customer installed this into his older style Briggs toilet, and this toilet is one of the larger tanks from 1980s and stuff, he put it in exactly the way that it came out. It wasn't leaking or anything. The problem was is he wasn't getting enough water to fill that big tank and not a good enough flush. Now, generally speaking, most customers look at these and they say, okay, it's got a little knob on here that I can adjust the water level. That is true. On these, if you turn them to the left, it's less water. To the right is more water. But it's only limited to the space that's allowed here with these threads. What if you got one of these bigger toilets and stuff these days? You need more water than that. Here's the trick to it. Right here, see this little ring? You see the whole thing, this little ring right here. This is how you're going to get more water to fill inside of your tank. Check it out. I'm gonna take and pop that ring forward. Now this is before I even put this thing in the toilet, right out of the box. We already know that we need to have a level that's high enough to put more water into the tank. I'm gonna take and grab the top of this and the bottom of this, and you might have to give it a little bit of muscle See, this whole thing comes apart. Whole thing came apart. I'll slide that back in. And look how much taller and longer that thing is now. And before we even install it, we're gonna kind of set it down in the toilet. And we wanna see this little tube piece right here that the hose comes out of be about a half inch higher than that tube that the water puts into it from the flush valve. This is a fill valve, all right? Once you know that's gonna be at that height, you're gonna take that ring, and we're gonna slide it back into place, just like that. Now that locks it into place so it doesn't blow apart. You can't take it apart from that. This time, you can put that down inside your toilet. If need be, a little bit of fine tuning. Just make sure you don't put too much water and have it too high in the tank where the water's flowing over into that tube that's inside or it'll never stop running. Like I said, a very quick and simple, comprehensive little video I wanted to put out, uh, inspired by a customer for the customer. So I hope this helps you out, Mr. C. You can see the person that came out to your house today. I wish I could have met you. I uh, wish you, I would have had this video out before you had to call me out. But you know, it's very simple. Just be careful. Uh, you wanna make these adjustments usually before you end up putting them in. If that's not the case and you put it in there and you don't wanna take it back out, make sure to turn the water off to your toilet. That, that way you can pop this little sleeve off and pull it forward and make that adjustment at that time water off first if you're going to do this already installed other than that just take your measurements of what you need to do and that is how you get more volume in your tank with that old briggs toilet from the 1980s that's all the time we got for today man i appreciate the heck out of each and every one of you guys for stopping by and taking a look at my videos and listening to me blab about plumbing and everything i hope this helps you out in any way or form most of you plumbers and all the guys out there that put these in already know these tricks but there are people that don't know these things and i was very surprised to hear that there was very few videos out on youtube of people explaining this simple little thing that can save you the cost of a service call because most of us like to do things ourselves uh, it's the manly way of doing things or they just don't want a stranger in their house or have to pick up a service call Hey, thanks so much for hanging out until next time. This has been plumbing with Tim Keep plumbing